Thank you, Susan. The head of the Keshe Foundation has joined us. Ella is here. Would Ella like to say anything? Um, it's me. Good afternoon. Good evening. Um, yes, good afternoon. Um, the, as we've seen in the report by the Iranian president, we estimate some 35 million Iranians are contaminated, all be contaminated. 25 million at the cellular level have been contaminated without testing. That's what the estimate of the government is. And estimated roughly within the next 12 months, the total population of Iran will be contaminated with this virus. And it's the first time world leaders confirm such extent. And if this is what is in Iran, there'll be total coverage of the China, India, and the rest in the next 12 months, 18 months. So this virus has become part of us. And now we have to see how it imitates how it live and how mankind will respond to it accordingly and how we will go through the change. So what we said is going to be now is, is imminent. And as I was explaining before, some other places, we will see um, huge changes in the economical pattern. As we have seen in China now, uh, if you are and you see in the world of electronics and hardware, all the shops gradually are getting empty. Even though all the stocks are coming in to be bought because there is no option. And soon this will affect a number of nations to recover by 1% to percent takes three, four years ahead planning. Some of the European nations have dropped by seven to 11% GDP in the past six months. And this is where if it goes to 25, it becomes irrecoverable. We cannot recover from it. So this virus is part of us now. We, we have no choice. Unless we come up with a new breakthrough technology, Technologies and create a new dimension of employment, life, and living, and everything else. So now that it will take is already taken over. Now we have a first world leader confirming with this nation. We are looking at it in two different ways in Iran, but primarily from the numbers we have in Iran, we see in Iran it cannot be far off. He's correct. You indicated all the hospitals are full in Iran. Where are we going to put these people? These... We don't know. We've been given a hospital now. We are in charge of hospital. Today we lost two patients, too far gone, but the experiments in the hospital has opened new data for us. These were total lost cases out of 15. Um, the doctors from the beginning, and we're not hoping, hoping the survival, but now we we watch it. Iran is full, hospitals are full, homes are getting full, and the Keshe Foundation groups now has passed 100,000. We've all passed 100,000 in three groups. Uh, Mr. Kesh, this is Ed Weatherall speaking. Um, 
what do you think was the significance of President Rouhani announcing some uh, figure that is actually close to reality for the COVID infections? What do you mean? Well, because the President Rouhani is the the person that you've indicated in the past, he's the one that's bought out and has been standing in the way and has no right to be president. Um, but yet he is the one now that has announced a figure that is close to reality um, for the COVID cases. And I, uh, so is he actually turning to being honest about what's going on or is there some ulterior motive for him announcing this, like to try well, to promote? Uh, we were discussing with the advisors this morning this because we were looking at it with our international advisors what is the benefit of such a move what what is in it the rohani group team with the minister of health were trying to bring a vaccination in which has failed miserably they have not got more than 30 percent on the other hand there is um, the school of thoughts in our team, uh, team of advisors, which uh, indicates there is a possibility because yesterday we were supposed to receive, actually not yesterday, Friday, so Thursday, we were supposed to receive a data authorization of Keshe Foundation to become an alternative system in Iran. And they delayed it. And with this coming up, it's, um, our team in the university and in the other sites we work with, they think there is a preempt effect to our benefit or to our other ways we don't know. But it's very coincidental when the day they were supposed to release data, they told us they do it on Saturday, such a thing comes up. Rohani has been sitting around the Keshe Foundation for a long time. He has spoken to European leaders about it. European leaders are in close contact with him. And maybe in the next uh, few days, we'll see the reason for it. But uh, in fact, if it is true, we see 50% population reduction in the next five years. Plus those who get contaminated. Uh, Mr. Cash, also um, a few hours after President Rouhani made his announcements, I saw that there was a report from other ministers of the health um, agency in Iran. They were kind of downplaying President Rouhani's uh, numbers, saying that they were based on serotological testing and that that... Yes, yes, they're trying to come because... <coughs> What is he's talking about is cellular contamination. Rouhani is not far off. There is not a family in Iran which is not touched. <coughs> we have 20 odd million families. There is not a family which one or two are not affected. I, on the emergency side, I've been handling critical cases in past few days. And I get the I get when it comes to the no go area when the doctors cannot go any further. Our team they get passed on to me. But one of our doctors is handling six hundred to a thousand a day at the moment. The team of doctors are there. That are the group of uh, what do you call our uh, uh, support team that are literally twenty four hours a day on their legs. We have increased the support team, but it's still there. It is uh, the, what they are trying to do, uh, the Minister of Health is created a mafia in Iran. We are three minutes. They can't get rid of them because of uh, support security system. We have made our points very clear to Rohani, with respect to the special Ministry of Health. 
And um, if they sign tomorrow, uh, cash foundation become compulsory applies across Iran. Even though now we are doing it. And um, we have to see, because uh, they've asked a ransom from us. We have received that they want a share of the cash foundation, because the cash foundation belongs to the people. There is an announcement, as I don't know, some of you might know, Caroline De Rosa has left the Keshe Foundation in total, and she will not be part of the Keshe Foundation organization worldwide anymore. She has left without notifying anyone, and um, her divorce is imminent. We are handling everything to lawyers for her divorce because of a lot of things which we do not want to talk. A lot of, uh, in her private teaching, a lot of lies has been said to her benefit. We keep very quiet. Full recording has been kept. And if any of you have any connection or whatever, you deal with her individually, not as part of the Cash Foundation. She will not be my wife anymore. And for the reason will be known publicly, she has decided, unknown to me, well, I listened to it in the teaching that she has left, 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 what you call it, left the foundation, which raised a lot of questions, but we keep the integrity of the foundation and she is not anymore as part of the Keshe Foundation. And soon she will not be my wife to be as part of the structure. Uh, Mr. Kesh, so, so sorry for this turn of events. Uh, the um, question uh, about the uh, World Health Organization, uh, the discovery of the, the statistics in Iran are in stark contrast to what the World Health Organization has uh, submitted. And, um, but it's more in line with what we've said uh, in, in terms of China with 21 million casualties how many? You, you said there were 21 million casualties in China? There is more. Now we see, we, I was talking to China in the past few days. Uh, what we see economical damage is so huge that the Chinese will not allow this to happen. Why they allow it to happen? Because they don't have the man force. The manpower is not there. And as Cash Foundation is fully operational in China, we have now four companies running in China. Um, the fourth company is getting registered this week. And we are, we are a substantial investor system in, in what you call China. And what we see, for example, um, what was supposed to be delivered to us in April, sorry, in February, the seventh, we received the last delivery on Friday last week. Factory doesn't have a staff. So when we see shortages of material, I need an item. Um, we have a problem with uh, uh, what they call it, with the structure that. The shortage of electronics and electrical goods and everything, hardware we see in European American stores, which has become very prominent now. Major, major retailers in Europe, like Lidl, Carrefour, are running out of all electronics. Everything from the past has been brought on the shelves. And um, in that process, they, um, we'll see 
shrinkages and if this leads to food in what they call retail market which we lost a lot of uh, what we call summer harvest is gone we expect a huge problem internationally we expect a huge problem internationally and uh, because we are at the end of it our enhancement unit is five months behind because the factory literally doesn't have the manpower to do it they have to restructure and it delayed us so now we we have the position of the systems which are getting completed in the next two weeks hopefully um the biggest problem is where is china gonna go where is the european economy is gonna go unemployment everything else Well, you see, my point is that one of the uh, uh, things that has been, uh, per the perception has been put forward by the World Health Organization, these statistics from Iran are in stark contrast to what they, they have been saying. So, so now where's their accountability? Uh, WHO has no credibility. Forget about it. WHO is a finance totally by Gates and has no credibility. How can you have, WHO is supposed to be a health organization as the head of it, the guy who is responsible for two million killing of his own nationals. Read about the head of the head national of WHO. Well, I have, uh, we, we have direct experience with that here in Canada when, when uh, they, they had 100 of their doctors infected with the AIDS virus and they, they wanted to get treatment for that. And uh, when they were uh, disseminating the um, smallpox vaccine in, in, in Africa and uh, through that, they, they, they were putting forward the AIDS virus. So that that's, goes back to 1991. I, we, we know that. It's just that the general public doesn't know that. So, so here's a stark contrast for the American public and the Iranian public and the Chinese public, when they look at the statistics, they say, well, wait a second. Uh, you know, one of the leading investigators in the World Health Organization was a Canadian doctor who went to China to try and assess the situation. So, so you know, uh, and then they stand forward and, and they're giving us all these recommendations. Yes, we know they have no credibility, but now, you know, how, does, how is the media going to cover this? So I think we, we, uh, we have to move forward. It's in so many ways, it's good that WHO will be restructured once these things move on because it's produced a lot of conflicting evidence. But um, um, we, I was talking to the head of the Keshe Foundation today that we will start a new approach from Thursday. As I don't know, some of you are a member of Universal Council, we have been in Brazil teaching. We have launched One Drop, One Life, is at the moment on trial in Iran. And we have seen significant improvement in the one, one Drop, One Life. I was just talking to our team in the hospital, a new set is going in tomorrow morning. and. And then um, we launch a massive technological development into the space technology as of this week. We turn the whole thing of the Keshe Foundation around as of this week. Keshe Foundation, we, we open the, uh, the port. We have informed the officer of the Khamenei of Iran that the Iranian report will be opened up on Thursday in public teaching, that everyone can have a full view of it. <coughs> and then we will open new technologies, radical technologies to oversee and be ready for eventuality of shortage of food, energy. And in next three months, in cooperation with the Keshe Foundation around the world and knowledge seekers, we will open step by step every avenue we know in technology 
that can change the course of humanity. I've already informed the Head of Keshe Foundation, this is the plan. And uh, we'll put things in, in arrangement, in direction, to be able to bring these changes in. So, um, as I said, we see a shortage of food. We'll see shortage of uh, material. And we will show, we are planning on the 2nd of August, which is the celebration of the establishment of the Universal Council, to demonstrate the unit with the presence of the, if we can, ambassadors and some of the dignitaries of the government. So you will see, we are pushing everything forward. We'll introduce a single unit life cycle system, which means you can sit in it, you don't have to worry about hunger, you will not have to worry about anything, and you can survive. We'll launch the new space program in conjunction with this Iran uh, Defense Technology University. The whole thing um, has given us a momentum to launch and bring new space technology into operation by March 21st. We will announce this in teaching tomorrow on Tuesday, and from Thursday, new species, new style of production of materials will be introduced, and we'll go directly for everything we have, because I see if you start late in the next two months and the shortage of food and everything else comes in, from what I saw in the supermarkets in Europe yesterday, um, it's frightening, absolutely frightening. I used to go to Russian ex uh, SSI, the, what used to be, and I've seen shelves being packed just to be full, and European major shops are getting that look. Just shelf packing, and even then they can't pack the shelves because there's not enough there. I go there, I go to the supermarkets and take pictures tomorrow. You will see and this is one of the major chains in the world, especially European around the, what we call European nations. So instead of waiting to come, we are heading it, I've asked the head of the Keshe Foundation to take charge of it. We'll see the best, she has a good idea about how to do it. Uh, we launch it from Thursday. Everything we do to foresee, to overcome this, in a way, is what we wanted. Everything to be available and free at the point of need. Food, energy, health, new space technology. From what I saw yesterday, and uh, and I always said, I knew when this technology is going to come, and that click point has taken place, and it will start. I don't think it'll be a problem with the we inform the Iranian government officials that this report because it carries the name of the Iran most leading university as the moderator of the paper it will change. It brings a lot of changes. We discussed before you came on uh, the um, Brazilian community is. Uh, is quite large compared to our community here, and uh, you you did um, uh, work out a game plan for the Brazilian community. I just was wondering, uh, we were so tiny as a group here. What um, uh, can you can you um, at this point elaborate anything on the plans with respect to the North American Corona team? We we look at it as a worldwide operation. We don't look at it as a nation by nation anymore. Because what we see, what I saw yesterday, which is alarming for me, is they will use this food shortage now to control. What I see from my experience, being some 20 years at top rank retail business around the world and especially in Europe running some major chain stores which I own is that when we see shops like this, 
it raises alarm. If I wasn't in retail, like you normal people pass, it's a different thing. Because I used to be in retail for 20 years on wholesale import and the whole chain. And some of my companies are still running around the world. Um, I could see, I feel, and for that reason, I brought the change. Because I think it'll take I think uh, we need to take that step. And yesterday was alarming for me walking into the shop. And it brought a shock. I just went for two minutes to get something for my son. And what I saw, it shocked me. And I see a need for a rapid injection of new technologies, ways that people don't need to be fed. Most probably within the next couple of weeks, I'll introduce one drop, one food, which means with one drop, you get all the energy what you need for a whole day. This is eminent, we've done it, we tried it before. We have a good record of it, and we'll go to that position. Mr. Keshe, you used the word injection there. The bad news that came out of Canada here just within the last 24 hours, the uh, Canadian government has gone ahead and ordered 77 million um, needles uh, in preparation for the uh, vaccines when they are ready to go. The so only nation which is fully vaccinated is the United Arab Emirates. And we are getting horrendous reports coming out of the United Arab Emirates. We are getting horrendous reports out of here in our remits. There is a possibility that what we see, what we call it as a corona, has to do with the injections. All the male tested, 100 male, we call it at the moment corona till we get the confirmation. They all have received the injection, and there is not one single sperm alive. Means a total, absolute inhalation of mankind. And these people, 100, we are looking at the corona, or if it's to do with the injection. We, at the moment, our team has put marked it, but because we've seen it in Russia too, without injection. This is one of our concerns. We've seen in other parts of the Middle East, the same kind of report. We are comparing, is it the ones who received the injection or is it just Corona? At the moment, our team advises to stick to Corona, see what it is, but these 100 people all have received injections without fail. And there is not a single sperm. I asked for them to be double checked. They say nothing. So it means in United Arab Emirates, anybody receive injection or has a corona will not create children. And so all men. And we've seen with other men who had the corona, they become totally incompetent. These are serious, serious cases. Our report is with doctors, we are not doing random. So, if you have a population of whatever, uh, this generation is gone. It's literally gone. We put new system in, we are testing, which we got to see what the results come. They will ask them to run a test in a week, in a month, and we'll see if we get any counts at all in this band. And at the same time, we reported, it's in the report, that we see women having two, three, four menstruation in the cycle. This again shows that by nature, uh, the body is rejecting. So we will have women who cannot produce. This report in past week has brought a lot of truth to us because we were expecting baby boom by all the people being at home. But if you got a corona, forget about it. And then, as I was explaining today, it's going to bring a lot of psychological damages in. You can imagine all these men or women who cannot produce anymore, 
we start seeing suicides in a, in a different shape. We have number of suicide people who got corona and just suffering through it. <coughs> they just committed to the suicide. Your governments don't talk. Cash Foundation is sitting right, right on the top of this situation. How many of you had a corona and you think you're going to have a child? Or your children? Or your grandchildren? Mr. Cash, yes. Is this is this uh, ha having all the sperms dead or all the yes. eggs dead? Is this not a all, reversible? This is what we developed. The technology is getting tested in Iran, and not in Iran, in uh, outside Iran. We especially target outside Iran for this project. They're all dead. We don't, uh, my doctors tell me there is not a single sperm alive. We have developed a special pants underwear, we have developed a special the sprays, we have developed, um, it's not in public domain, because we have some of this experience in Africa. When we run in Ghana, we run a lot of different tests and this is one of them. We could change infertility, but we got to see if, we, if the Fertility which we change uh, will be positive and how it's going to be. We at the moment it's only five days old, six days old. The same men are going to be tested in, in a week time, which is in the next two or three days, and then again to be tested on the month. If we find even a handful of uh, Life uh, sperms, we go further. You mentioned that this was in uh, Saudi Arabia. I'm no, curious. no, it's not in Saudi. I don't give you a name. Don't pull it out my tongue. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. No, no. Uh, okay. No, no. Um, at the moment, we, we're looking at a lot of options. We know the vaccination in China made a lot of deaths. American vaccination. Is there uh, any indication from the uh, Chinese executive uh, with respect to the report? Which report? The, um, uh, the new uh, scientific uh, documentation? No, no, all the governments are shocked how we managed to release this. Well, as the public finds out, uh, they, you know, at some point in time, they're not going to be able to continue. So I, I don't understand their position. The most important position for them is how to save their own lives. At the moment, governments are even in a position if they if they can exist. You look at what we say. Uh, in uh, whoever has had it, and see how many of the world leaders will die.
Uh, we have also seen cases of irrational behavior, uh, such as, um, you know, the police making a, a stop to someone and then they uh, act so irrationally that they get gunned down. Are, are we are we close to accurate in assuming that that is a byproduct of the asymptomatic uh, condition of the virus? Um, in the report, we have, I explained before too, I think in the Brazil, in Brazilian teaching or to Universal Council on Friday, that in the report we have recommended anyone who commits crime, like murder, killing their children, their wife, their husband, whatever, which is corona related, should not be considered a criminal offense. One of the difficulties, of course, is that the testing for the virus is is not completely accurate. I, uh, my opinion, I don't know. So what I'm asking is, of the 23 varieties of the virus, uh, is is any of the testing being done uh, being anywhere close to accurate to identifying any of these 23 varieties? It's all accurate as far as we know up to now. Yes, we've seen results. One is the physical results we see, and then is the blood test results. Is, is that what they're doing at the testing facilities in North America here? No, we don't have a testing facility in North America. This is done in Iran. So the, the other strains of the virus could be in the population, but we don't know it. Is that it? Would that be correct? More or less, yes. There's, there is like the spots, the double spots. Now is eminent uh, that is part of Corona. The what we call the pains in the kidneys and in the stomach, in every condition, the toes. Now is recognized, and we see the changes once you start using. We don't know, we have to see, it. this game runs too fast. This is running too fast. The structure, we are not ready for such a thing. If what Rohani has said true, who's gonna feed the nation? Who's gonna run the nation? Or has he given a sign to the Americans, this is where we're going to be, you want to be with us or we're out with us? And uh, the one of uh, leading contenders to be able even to change and bring it back in sits with the Keshe Foundation Plasma Technology. because we're not going to stop, we can reverse it. We've seen the reversal in hospitals with people with a chest infection. Mr. Kench, <clears throat> the question that is going through my mind the past couple of minutes is, do we see an answer to this, all of these problems you've been enumerating through the technological development of the plasma technology? Or is it 
becoming clear that we need to learn how to uh, communicate and uh, interact with our souls in order to overcome this. Combination of is the combination. The cup of soul we taught is a direction you don't even know how to use it. A lot of you are trying to fix it. It will be taught on Thursday. The cup of uh, soul for plants and a vertical people will be taught on Thursday. Then we go in the direction of what we call one drop, one food. One drop is enough for you to absorb enough energy for one cycle, Let's call it eight hours or whatever. And this has to be an option in case we hit this position. Has to be an option. And because there are two, two reasons, as I said, I used to be in retail. When in a retail business or in a market supply, they feel they can dominate, they can control, you lost the game. By the time you come to find a way around it, you lost the game, they control everything. So one of the reasons we're going, if you want to drop one food, is to preempt that nobody is going to hungry. The way you have spread this cancer technology as knowledge seekers gives us a lot of confidence. Gives us a lot of confidence. In a way, preempting a situation is 50% of winning the situation. And sometimes 100% of winning the situation. And what I saw yesterday, uh, it just, I've seen it past few weeks, but yesterday was so, so clear that I know what it means. I used to store grain, rice, for a British company in one of my warehouses as part of the national food supply. For years I used to do that. I know how it works. And the national food supplies around Europe, yes, what about the rest of the world? One of my warehouses was the national depot for the British government suits, so what they call rice storage. And I know when it runs out, but I can't do it. I used to supply, I used to be controller of the fuel on emergency for British, uh, what they call emergency services when there was no fuel on the street. I know. Operation is not theoretical, and I know how long it takes to bring things back into normal. You got to understand a factory if it goes back to production, whatever the demand is for all the humanity. And I know Americans are gambling on that, they will control the rights. Even here in the stores right now, like in Los Angeles, there's there's not a lot of like beans and all this uh, stuff in the stores. They, they it's gone. Can you repeat, please? No, I was just concurring what you said. I said uh, here in the, uh, in Los Angeles. This, most of the stores, they, they don't have beans, they don't have rice, it's all gone. It's amazing. People are picking it up and holding it. So the, 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 the restocking is not there this, at a pace that it should be. Uh, we don't know. We, we see it because we understand, as you know, in Iran, the British in the war burned all the villages from their grains deliberately, and this caused 15 million deaths just by lack of grain. People literally start with the children in the room and died. That's the generosity of British. And now it's going to happen to all of us if we do not go for this process that we become independent and find a new solution. And these solutions will be taught rapidly in the next few days on all Cash Foundation platform teachings. 
این روی از اصلا تو در هدف کشوندشون بعد اشون در کشوندشون we have to take charge by knowledge this reddit you've seen people in Amazon use it, you've seen people in Africa use it we have to take charge we is as cash on the some 200 million, 250 million people who are around us. Um, sometime in the next few days, maybe sooner, cash on the shit in conjunction with uh, Observat or Khamenei of Iran, we release a press release, it's already written, translated, we have been written for the last confirmation, that is correct. Um, that allows the gift as a whole will come out of Iran. We, we are not playing it just cash foundation, we are playing it as with nations who are start coming in. Mr. Kesh, I have a separate question. It's regarding the sales, the sales team. Uh, Kashmir, I'm not sure when is he available for us to, because we haven't had meetings for some time now. And we need to know uh, the process time for some of these products we would like to have here. Hi, Ike. Um, we're going to see this week for the sales team in which position we are. And we're going to have a meeting with uh, the whole team. So just follow up the meetings if you are in the group. If not, we're going to answer to you on email. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. And also uh, today in our meeting, <clears throat> I took the liberty of uh, doing a very intense uh, teaching. And the point was uh, that we, we have to do a teaching uh, for ourselves to be able to uh, understand and explain uh, to others. It was a very, very positive meeting, but the question becomes is, you know, uh, the rest of the population who, who are unaware of this, are, are going to, then the numbers are so huge. We don't even have the time for the teaching. So, you know, we, we've, we've tried to make a, um, an upbeat and, and a positive uh, twist to this meeting because it's essential and we need to convey that information. But uh, the, the reality is if this information is coming and people don't know that there's a solution that that really causes a fear amongst the population and i'm wondering if, if that is also um part of the process i imagine that it is so we, we i don't to... understand we have 35 members on this panel here today and the number of people in the telegram groups in, in north america you know it's, it's barely 200. yeah Most but the, the thing is that aware let me explain to you one thing. This thing has one way to go, to go what they call international. And that is, Iran accepts, the Iran minister accepts to confirm, and be passed on through by Iranian leadership that Iran has such a solution. Then you have, you don't need 35. All the televisions, everything in your in your country will work this way. This is the way. That's why past four weeks we'll be sitting. I informed Officer Talakhamni on Thursday. I'm going out. It will be credit to Iran, to Kashmandish, not to the Iranian government and leadership. So I made it very very clear to the Iranian uh, appointed. Uh, intellectual person by Atala Khamenei to handle cash Foundation in Iran. It's very, very clear. There is no two ways of asking, but <coughs> the minute we get this, the only thing we are waiting is that 
in the Ministry of Health, issues authorization can be used in the hospital. We are already in the hospitals. They just want a ransom. They told us they want a share of the cash foundation. Otherwise, we don't sign. That's the minister and his people and his cronies. We have seven plus eight telephone numbers which are called in different way by their people wanting to take. And even they stop paying what they call it bribe to cash foundation knowledge seekers in the management team of Iran. All recorded. We don't make accusations. And this is unbelievable. But they told us they give us an answer. Yes, on Thursday, they also give us on Saturday. Today, we still don't have an answer. And they got 100% result. Anyway, sorry, I just came in to answer a question about the plate. And uh, let's see what happens. Thank you so much for uh, for coming in today. Please, uh, please let them know that there's only one person or one group that can be first. The rest are all not first. Which is that? Whoever is not first is not first. There's only <laughs> one group that can be first. So, <laughs> at the moment, uh, at the moment in Iran, they're active, and um, we have to see where we go. Present still going active they're very active with it and we'll see we'll see where where, where the president your, the president of what they call united states sits with his nation and the canadians thank you very much and hopefully thank you, you. thank you very much thank you join mr Kerry, meeting. thank you very much join the thursday meeting um a new cycle starts as we started with the soul. We're going to teach you everything, and then you teach, you feed, you can gradually every aspects of the condition of feeding. We advise for a totally open, uh, what they call cash wiki, for people to put the data and the results they have for what food, how to do it, and everything else. If we have everything ready when it comes, it's just delivering. Thank you very much.